Hi, we've got one more power function and it's got a lot of variables in it. So what do we got? We've got 8B, as long as the marker agrees with me, 8B, there we go. And that's being divided by D minus 3X, which is to the power of minus 5. So all of that's underneath 8B. And that entire thing is equal to Z. And we're wanting to solve for X in this case. Okay. Well, again, like the easiest thing to do is to flip both sides. In this case, we get D minus 3X to the minus 5 divided by 8B equals 1 over Z, or we can multiply both sides by 8B, so D minus 3X to the minus 5 is equal to 8B all over Z. Great. Well, as always, what do we want to do? To get rid of a power, we do the inverse. So minus 1 over 5. Now, since these are variables, we're not going to be able to actually evaluate this. But this will cancel out to get d minus 3x equals this mess over here, the 8b divided by z to the minus 1, 5. And in fact, if we wanted to, we could flip this. We'll do that in the next step, because maybe we have just minus 3x equals d, nor this minus d. But again, if I want to get rid of this negative exponent, I can just flip. Could have technically done that up there to solve this, but didn't bother. So this can be rewritten as z over 8b to the 1 fifth. Doesn't matter. It depends if you wanted to get rid of the negative exponent or not. You could have left it flipped with a negative, chose to get rid of that, and that is in turn minus d. And now we have to just divide each term by minus 3 to give us x equals, we can think d upon 3, the minuses will cancel, and then that minus we're adding the minus from the minus 3, we get 7 over 8b to the power of 1 over 5, and that in turn is divided by 3. So that would be the solution to this somewhat ugly looking question.